Listen, do you want to know a secret? Do you promise not to tell? You'll have to turn the volume up because I'm going to whisper in case they are listening. I was recently invited to join a select bunch of financial experts in the elevated surroundings of London's Guildhall. Why? To have lunch with Gibraltar's First Minister Fabian Picardo and Finance Minister Albert Isola. I regard it as my mission to bring you information on wealth creation and wealth protection that you won't find in the usual places. So think of this gourmet lunch with champagne, beef wellington and petit fours as drudgery I'm prepared to suffer on your behalf. And I have to say it was worth it. If you've been following my content for any length of time, you'll know that I regard Gibraltar as the best kept secret in Europe. Let the mediocre majority focus on the occasional stories about delays crossing the frontier caused by the latest tiff with the Spanish. If you want to be in the top 20% when it comes to wealth creation and wealth protection, you need to think differently to the crowd. Gibraltar's been British for 300 years, and no British government is going to let that change. Spain is completely broken on the verge of asking for a Eurozone bailout, so regardless of the rhetoric, its government can't afford a costly fallout with Britain. The reality is Gibraltar's on a tear. Its GDP growth last year was 8%. Yes, that's better than China. 60% of all online gaming transactions worldwide are with companies based on The Rock. It's part of the EU and complies with all their requirements on corporate government, tax and fund management. And yet Gibraltar has no VAT, no capital gains tax, no wealth tax, no inheritance tax and very low corporation tax. It's a bit like Britain was 40 or 50 years ago, before the zombie politicians took over with their tax and spend huge statism. There are two categories of citizenship that might be of interest to you. If you've got particular skills that are in need, such as fund management or specialist IT skills in the online gaming sector, High Executive Possessing Specialist Skills program might be for you. This means you're only taxed on the first 120k of your income, which effectively caps your tax bill at 30k. If you're a business owner who couldn't stomach working for someone else, or maybe you've sold your business or are thinking about retirement, you might be interested in Category 2 residence. If you have a net worth of £2 million or more, and you acquire a qualifying home, you should be able to obtain Category 2 residency. And that means tax on your worldwide income is capped at just under 30,000 a year. And that includes the income of your spouse and your children. If you want to pass valuable family assets on to the next generation, wouldn't it be nice not to have to worry about inheritance tax? Although the tax rate remains static in the UK, the tax-free allowance of 325,000 is going to be frozen for another five years. So it's effectively going down by the real rate of inflation each year. So you could wave goodbye to 30 or 40% of your wealth in real terms over that time. And unlike many countries with a favourable tax regime, there are no minimum presence requirements once you qualify. Of course, that nice Mr Osborne doesn't want to make it too easy for us to escape high tax blighty. So there's some heavily revised rules that have to be taken into consideration before making a decision to relocate your tax residence. It all depends on the number of ties you have, but you should assume anything from 45 to 90 days would be the maximum time you could spend in Britain. If you can't survive without seeing the grandchildren every weekend, Gibraltar may not be for you. What I found is a clear split. If Gibraltar works for you, it works brilliantly. If it doesn't work for you, you'll be cursing me for even mentioning it and you'll be sticking another sharp object into that effigy of me that you keep by your desk. My point is, don't rule it out without giving it a serious look. Even if you can't make the two million threshold, there could be some very sound reasons for relocating. If you've got questions, just pop them in the comments box under the video and I'll do my best to answer them. And remember, this is our secret. So don't tell anyone and be careful out there.